we've had so much issues happening lately today is actually also the very first day of a uh, mercury direct transit so mercury's been in retrograde this whole time it is still in post shadow until july 7th but for now it's direct so there's so many things i want to talk about for this week the main points i'm going to be hitting on is Jupiter retrograde in Pisces and what house that is for you where you might see those changes happening the Sun is now in cancer and we have a full moon coming tomorrow the 24th in Capricorn so I want to touch on all these things what that might mean for you what you may have been noticing lately um, and so we're just gonna get right into it with this video I am going by the houses uh, which is going to be using your rising sign so make sure you watch for your rising sign. If you don't know what that is, it's very easy to find. Anyone can do it. Just go online. <laughs> Free natal chart. Okay, you have to know your birth time and city, as well as your birthday. It's free. You can get it anywhere. Astro.com, Cafe Astrology. There's so many. Uh, if you use Astro Matrix, I use that app. There's so many ways you can do it and it's free so you want to look for your rising sign which in the chart it will say ascendant asc with like a one next to it okay that's your ascendant which means the same thing as rising so we're not really looking at sun sign we're not really looking at moon you can watch for that um, and i will be talking about where this full moon will be hitting in your chart but we're going by rising sign okay so not the time you were born not not the uh, month and date of when you're born you're rising so find your chart if you don't already know and look up here asc1 ascendant okay so the ascendant is how the world sees you it's how you progress in life it's like the more of the energy that um you're growing into and this is where you'll be mostly affected you can watch for your sun and moon um you can and your Venus but this is mainly for your rising okay if you if you feel like that's not happening you know click on your Sun see if that works and then your moon because some people they have a lot of like congestion of certain planets in one sign and so they're really a lot more like that sign than anything else you know what I mean like if you're Jupiter your Venus your North Node um, or your moon or anything is like accumulated in one house in one sign it may be completely opposite from your Sun and maybe that's why horoscopes don't really work for you so you just got to look at everything and it's really great to know your chart and it's free so do it for yourself to get to know yourself okay anyways so Jupiter yes it has been in Pisces since May 13th, but now it's retrograde. So on Sunday, which was the 20th, Jupiter turned retrograde in Pisces. So now it's going to be moving back towards Aquarius and it will reach Aquarius on July 28th. So from now or the 20th until July 28th, it will still be in Pisces. So I want you to think back to May 13th ish give or take a few days to what you are noticing Jupiter brings blessings Jupiter brings expansion so this can be seen as good or bad it's benefic so most things are good but if you're having a really hard time if you haven't done the work if you've been putting things off if you've not been listening to Mercury retrograde Saturn retrograde Pluto retrograde, all the other planets that are trying to get you to reassess and make changes and notice how things aren't working, how they can be a little bit better working. If you haven't been doing that, then all that stress is accumulated and expanded as well through Jupiter. So I just want you to keep that in mind that as much as it can be positive, it can also be negative dependent on you and also dependent on the houses, which is what we're going to go through. So. Jupiter is in Pisces, in retrograde. Anytime you think about a planet in retrograde, it's about introspection. And just think of like every R word you can possibly imagine. Research, 
reassess, reignite, every reword. We're just gonna go back over stuff. So anything, that's why I want you to think about May 13th, anything that you started going through around that time, you're gonna be moving back through that now. The opposite direction, okay, moving back towards Aquarius. And Jupiter will be there from the end of July in retrograde until October 18th, I believe, and then it will um, go direct in Aquarius and then move back into Pisces in the end of December and then stay there mostly for all of 2022, a little bit in Aries. Jupiter retrogrades every year for about four months. Jupiter in Pisces brings more spiritual development, more consciousness, higher consciousness. You find yourself learning more, wanting to learn more, wanting to reconnect to whatever, it, wherever the house is. We're going to go over it. Okay, but just think about the main aspects of Jupiter, which broaden horizons, bring grand gestures of love or money or health um, or kids, whatever it is for you. Spiritualism and adventure, new pathways, new ways of getting there, broader visions. Jupiter's awesome. But now that we've seen a little bit of what is possible, um, and some people notice overindulgence as well with that expansion. Um, you may have gained weight, you know, from that May 13th to this June 20th time when Jupiter was direct in Pisces because Pisces likes to indulge and escape. So whatever that means for you, for some people it's drugs, it's alcohol, it's working out, it's eating, whatever it is for you. So now we're moving back. I know for myself, I did gain weight and I'm a Pisces, so that's probably why. So if you are Pisces, you may have noticed that as well. Or any heavy Pisces placements like Rising Moon, uh, North Node, Venus, Pisces would have been more drawn to those things. As well as the other mutable signs, Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius. Uh, they like to escape or they like to just uh, overindulge a little bit. It's easier for them to flow with that energy. And so Jupiter does rule Sagittarius and Pisces. So it's easy to get wrapped up in those things and do too much. So I gain weight, but now guess what? Guess what? On the 20th, Jupiter is going back now. And then also Mercury coming direct. I think that helps me too because Mercury's in my sixth house and that's my house of health. And so since then, I've just like gotten really serious on a diet and working out and just eating better and just trying to drink more water and just all those things that I should have been doing. So Jupiter, I feel like brings distractions and that can, can bring in that overindulgence as well. So but real quick, I do want to talk about this Capricorn full moon, which is going to be more logical, more grounded, more stable and secure. It's asking you to put in more effort, to dedicate yourself, to commit yourself, okay? And to kind of find your footing here. Get more serious about what are your long-term goals? Where are you headed? What's the plan? Okay, how are we going to get there? Relationship goals. And then also your relationship to time. Well, how is time affecting your goals? How much time and effort have you actually put in? You know, and, and just getting serious about it. Committing, dedicating, rededicating to whichever house it happens to fall in for you. Okay, also keep in mind that the sun is now in Cancer. So this is about the home, the foundation, structure, value, uh, as far as values in the home. Um, you know, what you want out of your home, how you believe a family should be, how, you know, the dynamics in your home and family should be. And then um, property is highlighted too for the fourth house, which is represented by Cancer. That's why I mentioned it. So Cancer is very emotional. 
Cancer is very family oriented. They're the mother, they take care, they're very nurturing of other people. So you may feel more um, concerned with others, you know, or just noticing other people being softer, sweeter, kinder, more compassionate, hopefully. But they can also get their feelings hurt, very sensitive. So don't take things the wrong way. Keep in mind others will be taking things the wrong way. That's just cancer energy, okay? Everyone's kind of just going to be oh, a little bit more emotional. <laughs> so, um, and that's mostly it. Capricorn Moon went over Sun and Cancer. We talked about Jupiter and Retrograde. Um, so, I just want to let everyone know that when Mercury came direct yesterday on the 22nd, today's the full first full day of Mercury direct. This type of energy is is coming in like we had all these issues, whatever issues you had during Mercury retrograde. We're still not in the clear totally, but we're out of it. Okay, we're at least we're direct now. So Mercury brings up these things, communication issues, technology issues, things that you lose, you know, your keys or whatever not just to make it bad for you. Mercury is the trickster energy, but it's because there's something that you're missing. There's something you're not seeing. Or there's something you need to look at a different way. And so the main thing here is we have all these new goals. We have all these things we want to build. We have all these new structures we're trying to put in place and we're still having all these other planets in retrograde. Jupiter, Saturn, Pluto. So what Mercury has been saying to us all along is like, we have to find a new way to do it. There's a new way to do it. Uh, you can't keep doing the old way. You can't keep coming up with the same old energy, expecting something new. So if you want something new and you've got an idea in your head, you've got to try something new. You've got to go out on a limb. You can't keep assuming that the old way is going to work. The old way isn't going to work anymore. So let's get into it. Jupiter in Pisces, starting with Pisces rising. Okay, that would be the first house. So Pisces rising, first house is you, it's the self. So this would have brought, maybe gained a little weight. Maybe you want to change some things about yourself. Um, you may have felt really good about yourself or seen an accumulation of progress over the last month or so. So now we're gonna be uh, reassessing, going over those things with Jupiter um, in a retrospection. Thinking back to, did you like how that went? Does it feel okay now? Moving forward. Um, and also with this Capricorn moon for Pisces rising, the Capricorn full moon is going to be in your 11th house. So this is an accumulation of what you've done as far as your career, networking, social groups, friendships, and seeing kind of the progress that you've made. Maybe some dreams that came to reality for you. Maybe some really awesome goals that you met um, that have just maybe come to a, a fullness over the last month and a half or so. And so now it's really just about how you feel moving forward. What did Jupiter show you? Because we just got a preview of what we're going to be seeing and how we're going to be feeling next year, most all of next year. So starting at the end of December, Pisces rising, Jupiter will be back in Pisces and direct and you will get more of that. You will feel more fullness, I think, in your character, more of a chance to reinvent yourself, make more money, do better in your career, choose a new career path. And so Jupiter wants to teach, he's a teacher, and he wants to show new ways of doing things, different ways of looking at things that's better, brings good things. So Capricorn Moon for you Pisces rising is going to to hit on for us these long-term goals and a seriousness a bit and since we have the Sun in Cancer now which is 
directly opposite of this Capricorn moon. That's how it works. Capricorn full moon. The opposite is where the sun is in Cancer now, which is a more emotional place concerned with the home and family, values, um, traditions, the things that bring us comfort, the things that bring us structure and foundation. So it's like we're, we're getting a chance now to kind of see through the emotion of things. We've been dealing with this, Pisces Rising have been dealing with this um, energy in the fourth house. So now that it's here in your first house, Jupiter, uh, and then with the Capricorn Moon and the Cancer Sun, I just want you to really think about how you feel emotionally. Pisces Rising would be a sister sign of Cancer. So you're really good at being sensitive and feeling through those things. And Jupiter is going to bring in those more spiritually connected aspects to you. But what have you done? Capricorn is about time. Capricorn is about structure. And what goals are you meeting? What plans are you making now? And reassessing through this Jupiter retrograde, are you able to do it the same way that you thought like the plans that you've had or the long-term goals that you had are they still possible and if they are can you still reach them the same way that you had hoped or planned because now is this chance and we just have this mercury retrograde and what mercury retrograde does is shows us how things don't work when we're not listening right we're not listening, we get in uh, miscommunications, we lose things, the computer breaks down, the car breaks down. It's like something's not connecting. So that's just another way that the planets are helping us to look and see, maybe it's not going to work this way, but maybe if I change something, maybe if I try it a different way. Capricorn, if you think about Capricorn ruled by Saturn, it's about time, it's about systems, it's about sometimes government, it's about structure. What rules are in place? What are the things I need to get through? What obstacles do I need to get through to get to my long-term plans and goals? And it, it's a very serious and dedicated and committed energy to Capricorn. So this full moon may be having you second-guessing things, feeling uh, or reaffirming things, igniting a passion in you, something in you that wants to reconnect, recommit, or just commit to something brand new altogether. And this is your chance, Pisces rising, first house, to reinvent yourself, to reinvent your career, to try a different pathway in a way that Capricorn wants it to work a certain way. Okay, so it has to kind of play by the rules. And Capricorn kind of has a very stoic face on. Uh, they're very serious and when it comes to work and effort, it's like, are you willing to do that? Are you willing to do what it takes to reach these long-term goals? And then assessing the best way to go about doing that because what we've been trying to do as a whole is try to make the new things that we want come to us and work out by doing the old way of doing things like, uh, <laughs> You know, things have changed and things are going to continue to change. So as that happens, we've been letting go of this old paradigm, the old structures. And it's really important that we understand trying to do brand new things or gain new things in our lives or expand in new ways in our lives by doing the old things isn't going to work. It's not going to help and that you have to take action as well. So right now we're in this, um, with all these retrogrades, we're in a phase of just kind of thinking things through, reassessing, planning, changing plans. You know, you need your eraser out right now because things are going to keep changing. The way that you think about things is going to keep changing because we're continually being shown new things about who we are and how we feel and how we're all connected and how are you connected to Source. So, Pisces Rising, enjoy this time. And, um... Feel into your home space with this Cancer energy. While you're here, you will feel more sensitive. You will probably feel a bit happier too. Um, so 
Think about what you want in your home and family life while the sun is here in Cancer. And then think about those long-term goals um, just for you, for yourself, for who you want to be, for growing into um, maybe it's physically, how you want to feel. Maybe you're taking on a diet or, um, you know, cutting your hair, trying some new type of clothing or whatever. Maybe it's not physical. Maybe it's your connection to source. Maybe it's your friendships. Maybe it's your relationships um, or your career that you're reinventing. But now's your chance. So Jupiter will bring blessings. You may see more money around this time. Um, inheritances, anything really like it's just out of the blue. Money may be easier for you, but money may also be going out as well. So be careful with spending because um, sometimes when Jupiter is retrograde, it kind of brings a deflation factor where when Jupiter's here, it's the energy feels more comfortable and supported. And then when we go retrograde, it kind of backs off a little. And like, where'd that support go? <laughs> like, I have, you know, I just start spending all this money because so I have all this money. And then before you know it, you don't have that money coming in or something. And then you just went and spent it all. So just be careful with expenses that can grow just the same way as your income can grow. Okay, so. Jupiter retrograde for aqua rising would be in the second house of money and then Capricorn full moon would be in your 12th house so Aquarius rising still going through many changes Saturn is there Jupiter will be coming back into your sign uh, and there's just so much happening i mean they came out of capricorn which is in your 12th house for a, a while and that was stressful so now you get this chance to focus on value focus on your income you may be receiving more income or you may just be reassessing how you make money what does money mean to you and the body the second house rules your body so be careful um, when it comes to health. You may have health issues, but it's to bring up something that needs to be changed. Okay, there changes have to be made right now. So the question is, what does Jupiter want from you? Capricorn Moon in your twelfth is going to be uh, kind of a tough energy for the twelfth house, which is much more about the dreams state and altered realities the unconscious and healing you may be being asked to get serious about your healing or commit to yourself dedicate to yourself and your healing learning more about who you are on the inside the very deep uh, hidden levels of you during this time what are your long-term goals for your dreams and your plans for yourself and getting serious about those. With Jupiter here retrograde in your second house, you are being asked to reassess uh, money and value, how you think about those things, how you wanna make more money, perhaps. Maybe you're being shown new ways, new income streams, that sort of thing. Um, as well as you could be having many money issues. So think about how did Jupiter and Pisces affect you starting in May this last six weeks and then that's kind of what we're going to be seeing more so um, or like retouching on those aspects again so it's like Jupiter comes through like oh hey look at this and then okay you can take it okay make changes to it if it's a blessing or whatever it is if it's an issue a challenge and you make the changes right and then Jupiter's coming back through retrograde saying did you get that is this the way you want to do it is there another way we could do it maybe we should change and try something new maybe we should train like change the focus and Jupiter is very positive so he wants you to stay optimistic especially in Pisces you want to pay more attention to your value and your money and how it affects not only you but those around you and how you are, your connection to the rest of the world. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just hearing from spirit, so. 
that energy, you know, second house, we have to be careful about money. We always have to be careful about money. What does it mean to us? Is it too material? The Jupiter in Pisces is not material. It doesn't, it's not about the money per se. It's more, it would be more about healing your own value, your own worth. What are you worthy of? What do you, what areas in your life, like, do you need more? Are you wanting more? Are you deserving more? And how can we make that happen? So once again, try to find the new systems, the new structures we can build to get to those new things, those new long-term goals, those new commitments. Because we can't keep doing it the old way. We can't have the new by doing the old. We gotta get with the program here. Okay, Aqua Rising, enjoy your time. Capricorn Rising. Capricorn Rising, this will be affecting you in your third house. Okay, and these are, also these are, um, I'm doing whole house. If you're doing placidious, this could be affecting you in your second or third or fourth house. Um, so Capricorn rising in your third house. This could be affecting you in your communications, in your relationships with others. And um, how you view yourself, your siblings, and uh, learning, schooling. So like if you're a teacher, you know, or if you are going back to school or just your communication with siblings and others, how you communicate as a whole, like let's say you're a motivational speaker or it's your job to get up and talk in front of people. I don't know, maybe you're a big to do at your place where you work, but either way, Capricorn rising, third house when you think about third house it's also it's like the in numerology this would be antero the planning phases of restructuring to get into the fourth house so it's like what you need to do planning structure foundation where are you headed where are you going and you will probably, if you have siblings, there will be aspects to this surrounding your siblings. Communication could have been off, and now maybe you're trying to refocus, uh, replan things, and um, and it's also how how you speak and how you think. Okay, third house. So with this. Capricorn rising and Capricorn full moon is going to be in your first house. You may feel way more serious. You're going to feel more serious, but you're going to be being asked to recommit to something or commit to something new. Getting serious about something and feeling maybe also a sense of accomplishment for what you've done recently and where you're headed focused on the future, thinking about time, Capricorn does that, time and structure is very important, but this is going to be involving your communication. So from now until July 28th, Jupiter will be retrograde in this house for you. So think about how you're building a structure, what is it you're creating? This is like a really good planning phase, it's like an, an investor kind of energy, where you're headed, what it's going to take, you know, like if you wanted to write an outline of, of all the things in the plan that need to happen, and then are those things realistic? Is there a better way of doing it? And then like I've said for the other signs, you have to make sure that you're going into this new energy, this new thing, this new committed energy. Uh, with a sense of letting go of the old as well. It's like, yeah, we're stepping into the new, so that means we have to do things the new way now. So that's the hard part about Capricorn because it's about structure and systems and what do we know works. And we can't always stick to what we thought worked before. Those things aren't gonna work anymore. 
okay and then also keep in mind the sun is in cancer so you or those around you may be more sensitive and emotional um, cancer likes comforts it likes the home it likes family so you may be noticing wanting to spend more time or being happier around your family and friends or happier being a homebody and um, or um, excavating your home interior design changes and shifts those type of things may be something Capricorn is is thinking about uh, you know, if you want to like redo your cabinets or something, that would be a great time to think about the planning phase of what's, how that's going to happen. It could be something small like that. Okay. But these are changes that are coming in. We just had summer solstice. We've had this uh, eclipse season over the last few weeks. So we are seeing accumulations happening now of the changes, many changes, small or big that have been happening. And it's like we're being shown, like the curtain's being drawn back and we're getting a glimpse of like what we could have in the future. So now it's really about getting serious planning and you're going to be really good at that Capricorn because you're so dedicated and committed. Thank you. Let's move on to Sagittarius rising. For Sagittarius rising, this will be happening in your fourth house or third if you're um, doing placidious. So, Sag in with the fourth house, um, Pisces. So Jupiter will be retrograde in your fourth house, which is family matters, issues um, at home. So. For some of you, you may be having to, I don't know why I'm feeling like forgiveness, forgiving others. I do astrology, but I am an intuitive, so <laughs> I'm feeling more like forgiveness also for you guys, not for everybody, okay? But Sagittarius or Sagittarius rising um, with the fourth house. So thinking about the fourth house is home, family, structure, property. You may be interested in buying property. You may be buying or selling a home. Um, those kinds of contracts may be coming through for you. And this is about reassessment. Any planet in retrograde is about rethinking it, finding a new way possibly, going a different route, and rediscovering perhaps things about yourself that you like or that you don't like in the home or with family, reconnecting to family members, um, changing things in the home, and looking for and building onto structure. Okay, we need to find structure. And with this Capricorn, the Capricorn full moon will be in your second house of money. So it's like, you're going to have to be a little bit more dedicated during this time. Where the Capricorn full moon is asking you to commit to something, be more dedicated, write a plan, write a business plan, or... Uh, and really any any way that you can get more precise about your plan whatever it may be for money for your finances or for your self-worth maybe it's dedicating to a workout program or a diet it's possibly the body with the second house so you could be um, working extra hard to lose weight or gain weight or um, changing things about your body, maybe having surgery. So with the second house, I'm really feeling like this Capricorn full moon is really asking you to get serious. So be careful what you spend. If you are getting more money, I feel that this Capricorn full moon is saying, watch it, you know. You may have to get more serious which Sagittarius energy doesn't like to be told what to do. They like to be free and do whatever they want. So Capricorn is more like, hey, pay attention, okay? Don't do that. Get serious. Play by the rules. And so it may be an uncomfortable energy for you, <laughs> and especially uh, Jupiter in your fourth house. Uh, I mean, it could be great. It could be expansive. You could be moving in with a partner or, um, you know, issues with your mom or maybe your mom's moving, that sort of thing. So home, property, family, 
comfort. If you're happier at home, you know, why? Is your bed amazing? My bed's amazing. I'm saying it's comfort, right? So it can be food for you. Anything that brings you comfort makes you feel secure. So keep in mind that Capricorn full moon is going to be there in your money house. So it's like, if it comes to money, if you need more money, it's time to get serious. If you have this thing in your head and Jupiter is bringing you this, this new idea, perhaps, or any of these retrogrades, then it's like Capricorn saying, you want this money? You want this new business or whatever? Get serious, write a business plan, dedicate your time and commit to it. And then that's when it comes through, okay? As well as the self, the body, and your own self-worth and value. Those things will be highlighted for you as well. Okay, let's go to Scorpio rising. For Scorpio rising, this Jupiter retrograde in Pisces will be in your fourth or fifth house fifth house placidia or whole whole sign fourth house perhaps placidius where, wherever it is for you okay um if you do look and you see that it's in your fourth house then you can watch the sagittarius or fourth house segment okay so scorpio rising in the fifth house so this jupiter retrograde in pisces would be in your fifth house which is children um, hobbies, pleasure, gambling, anything that brings you pleasure, sex, romance, um, playful type romance, like in love, like new, new love or new connections. So you could be meeting someone, you could be reassessing what it is that you want in someone, you could be reassessing your creativity. What you do, uh, you're going to be having more sparks of creativity during this time. So really pay attention to that. But children, uh, for some of you now, you may be finding yourself having um, a new pregnancy or a new child enter the scene somehow. Maybe you start dating someone who has a kid. Um, it could be any of those things. So. As well as this being in your fifth house, watch out for gambling, watch out for overindulgences, pleasure in any way. And Scorpio likes to drink sometimes, so you know what I'm saying? Be careful with the overindulgences. For me, Jupiter retrograde is more about going over the things we want to change about ourselves. It's like you were shown all the ways that you went on a shopping spree, drank too much, did things you shouldn't have done. <laughs> you know, and now it's like, don't you want to fix those things? Now we're going to go back over all those things. And so the fifth house being your house of joy and pleasure and creativity and kids and romance, it could really be highlighting any of these things for you, depending on who you are, what your other placements are, what other planets, you know, are close by. And so keep all of those things in mind that Jupiter expands but can also kind of take away energy as well. So we just want to rethink how we do things. Is there a better way of doing things? What changes can we make? How can we make those changes? And so um, this Capricorn full moon happening on the 23rd will be in your third house. So issues with siblings, and it doesn't have to be an issue. It could be connection to siblings, but um, as well as school, if you're in school or you're a teacher for a school or you're a principal of a school or whatever, education, and then as well communication and your thoughts. It's like the mind, okay? Psychology, you may feel depressed. I don't know why I'm feeling that. But Capricorn is very serious and this full moon is gonna be about reassessing long-term goals, commitments, um, dedicating yourself to possibly going back to school, dedicating yourself to being a clearer communicator, dedicating yourself to your own mental health. You may need to relax more. You may need to go on daily walks. You may need to make a trip to the beach or vacation wherever you like. Go camping. Mental health um, will show itself 
and this is with the full moon energy on Thursday so you could already be seeing this and this could last into the weekend as well um, and then also keep in mind that the Sun is in cancer so being a Scorpio rising you will feel more sensitive you will feel more drawn to family you will feel more drawn to the home values tradition and building a structure and Capricorn wants us to embrace this time because Capricorn loves structure so what do we need to do how can we build a new structure or uh, a new plan like get very serious about a new plan in order to embrace this time in your fifth house all these changes new love possibly new baby possibly new creative endeavors um, or hobbies or passionate things that bring you joy Jupiter wants to show us these things with this Capricorn full moon of rededicating reassessing the systems that we use um, the way we've been taught to do things we're gonna have to try a new way now if you want new things you gotta try a new way we can't continue with the new things doing it the old way right Okay, so moving on, Libra rising. So for Libra rising, Jupiter in Pisces would be in your fifth or sixth house. Whole sign it would be sixth house, but I look at Placidius as well. So for Libra rising, if you are looking at Placidius, it may be your fifth or sixth or even seventh house. But, um, so look at those houses. Um, if you are going by Placidius, you can just go back and look at the other um, timestamp, okay? So for Libra Rising, we're going to go by 6th house because I'm doing whole sign for this video, but if you're going Placidius, look at the 5th house, okay? So, um, Libra Rising, 6th house. So, 6th house is very much about day-to-day -day activities your job, not like career, but like your job. Day in, day out, daily tasks, feed the dogs, bathe the kids, do your hair, wash the car, you know, whatever you do at work. Structure like schedule, that's a thing for sixth house um, because it's daily, daily uh, routines. And then it's also service to others how you serve and help others, do things for others, and as well as health and pets. So for Libra Rising, Jupiter in retrograde in your sixth house could be, um, you may be having to make changes to your daily routine. You may be needing to get more serious and committed and changing the way that you do things. You need to possibly be doing more for others or it may be that others are serving you um, or you want to volunteer and do volunteer work somewhere and give back to someone else. You could be having issues with pets. Um, reassessing your health is big during this time for sixth house, anything in sixth house. Jupiter retrograde is a time where we want to kind of ease up because <laughs> Jupiter wants overindulgence, or he just likes it. He just wants to expand everything. So if you've been gaining weight, that sort of thing, um, or not feeling too good, it's time to reassess your health, your diet, and your exercise routine. Okay, and for most of you watching this, you're already gonna understand what I'm talking about. It's gonna make sense, and you're gonna be like, okay. You could have already been having these thoughts we're already having health issues and, and this Capricorn full moon is going to be in your fourth house of home and family and property or structure. So it's definitely like what new way, Capricorn's like a structure, right? What new way can we change things in our home, in our daily routines to feel better, aspecting your health, aspecting others aspecting pets perhaps for you and your job. Are you happy? Could we do it better? Could we do it another way? Let's tweak it a little bit. Let's try a new way because the old way doesn't work. <laughs> so we can't have new results 
if we don't try something new. So keep that in mind. Capricorn in your fourth house is going to be asking about long-term goals when it comes to home and family, when it comes to um, maybe people that you live with, roommates. It could be you wanting to move, wanting to buy new property, selling a home, um, but Capricorn being about structure and time and goals and work and effort. It's more about, okay, what work and structure, like getting serious and commitment, dedication, is necessary in order for me to have these changes um, in my fourth house, in your home, family matters. So you could be having issues and challenges when it comes to the home, when it comes to those that you live with, or um, it could be anything dealing with your home. Okay, so it's like if you didn't change your air filter for a really long time, like you weren't doing the Capricornian thing, you know, you weren't paying attention to structure and time and schedule, and then now, I don't know, something happened, your AC broke down or something. <laughs> I don't know if the filter can do that, but anyways, you know what I'm saying. It's like if you didn't clean out your drain or something in your sink, and then now you knew it was getting bad, it was getting really bad, and water was overflowing like every time you brushed your teeth, but now it's like everywhere. And now you have this huge problem under your sink because you let it go. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like Capricorn is saying, find some structure, dedicate yourself. If you commit to this thing, or whatever changes, whatever long-term goals you're wanting, and this uh, new way, this Jupiter retrograde reassessing what's the best way to do this, getting serious, of course, Capricorn Moon, but also Cancer, the Sun in Cancer now, is this home energy, is this sensitivity, is this emotionality of how we feel and how you want to feel when it comes to your home environment, how you want your family members to feel, and what can we do about that? Okay, so those are the areas you will be reassessing and feeling these. Um, so for Virgo rising, this Jupiter retrograde would be happening in your seventh house, which is the house of relationships long-term relationships, marriage. It could be like business partner or like your best friend since high school, that type of thing. Long-term relationships. Okay, so this could be bringing expansion, new relationships, um, marriage even, or it could be showing you things that need to change in your long-term relationships, how you communicate with others. Maybe you're, you have a scheduling conflict or something, you know, or your time, your work times don't match up or something hasn't been right lately, perhaps. And this Jupiter, when it was direct, would have shown you something since May 13th up until the 20th of June. And now we're going to go back over it. So if you made changes in your marriage or your long-term partnerships or your business partnerships, if you made some changes or you noticed something that made you uneasy, um, maybe someone spends too much money. You know, it could be something as simple as that in business or in your marriage. And maybe you talked about it, but you didn't really fully make a change. And so then we're going to go back over it now. Okay, not saying that's your situation, it's just an example. So you know by what took place over the last six weeks. Now we're going to go back over it. So what do you want to change in your long-term relationships? What do you want to change perhaps in your marriage? What do you want to attract um, in a marriage partner perhaps? It could really be anything. And so think about your relationship house who's there now who's around you you know and and what needs to be changed so as well as that being in your seventh house the full moon in Capricorn on the 24th will be in your fifth house so this could be commitments to children you may be getting closer with your kids taking a vacation with your kids it's also about creativity hobbies romance 
new love kind of energy. So overall, with all this energy combined for this week, the universe may be showing you that if you want things to change in your long-term relationships or if you want things to change and be more fun with your kids, you may have to dedicate more time or change the circumstances a little bit as far as scheduling or structure, building a different foundation for those things. Um, you may be needing to get more serious about bad habits that you have. Okay, um, the overindulgences that Jupiter would have shown you in the last six weeks, you'd know with this full moon in your fifth house what it is that needs to change. Okay, so keep in mind the sun is in Cancer. So if you have any other Cancer placements or you know any Cancers, Maybe your child or your life partner is a cancer, whatever it is, you may be feeling that more so. They will be feeling that more so. Very sensitive, very emotional, very home value, structure, comfort, um, energy. Okay, so be careful with feeling too sensitive because the Capricorn moon wants you to be more serious like more logical okay so don't get wrapped up in your feelings this is a great time to find new ways to feel good um, better ways to feel good by restructuring by recommitting by dedicating yourself in different ways to new plans and new long-term goals okay but you know Capricorn is the exact opposite of cancer so when we get wrapped up in our emotions with cancer Capricorn moon is like hey don't be a crybaby. You're just going to stand here. <laughs> stand here. Write an outline. Write your long-term business plan. Get serious. What's the best way to do it? And don't keep trying to go back to the old way. You need a new way. We need to, to branch out, try some new things, and build a new system, a new way of doing it. Okay, moving forward. Leo rising. So for Leo rising, this Jupiter and Pisces in the whole house system would have been and still be in your 8th house. So this retrograde will be affecting you in your 8th house of sex, intimacy, um, other people's resources, shared resources. This could be even like lottery winnings, okay, inheritances, as well as money going out, expenditures you weren't expecting new tires for your car, uh, you know, things like that that come up that um, you weren't really expecting. So money can come in and money can go out. But as well, we're talking about very deep what is hidden. Uh, you may find yourself more spiritually connected at this time, wanting to do a ton of research on conspiracy and the occult and secret space programs and <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm Leo Rising and I've been doing all these things. So, uh, the occult, yes. Spirituality, yes. Sex, yes. All of these things are very important for the eighth house. As well as death. You could be experiencing a death around you, whatever. Hence the inheritance. Okay. Um, sorry if that happens. As well as just the death of yourself in certain ways. The ego, letting go of certain things. Old habits. And healing. This is what is hidden. This house is one of the most deeper, very spiritual houses. Intimacy. Perhaps you need to make yourself more vulnerable. And Jupiter is trying to show you how to do that. This is what brings in the healing. Okay? And that's what Jupiter wants to do. So reassessing what you need um, for dreams. Uh, what do you want to accomplish? for your spirituality, for your future, for your life path perhaps, um, and new knowledge brings about healing as well. And then what do you know about yourself and what are you learning through sex about yourself? How can you heal yourself through sex or intimacy, period? And then just the death and the rebirth and the transformation process. You'll be noticing that, and you would have already noticed that beginning May 13th. 
So what is it that you're learning about yourself and what you want for your future? How can we make that happen? Capricorn Moon is in your sixth house of daily routines and health and um, service, being of service to others and also your pets. So the Capricorn Moon wants you to get serious about your health and uh, wants you to commit perhaps to a new daily routine that would allow for you to expand and grow into and move towards your long-term goals. So timing is important, scheduling is important, your day-to-day -day tasks, rearranging your schedule, waking up a little bit earlier, maybe going to bed earlier, spending time in meditation, you know, pencil that in. Pencil in meditation and tea time, whatever it is for you. Longer shower or more time at the gym. Um, prep meal time, whatever it is that's gonna help you with your health right now and with your day-to-day -day routines, okay? Structure, schedule. Capricorn full moon wants all of these things from you. Keep in mind, the sun is in Cancer. It's a very emotional time. It can be a very happy time, a very family-focused time. So you are kind of going to have to split your energy here, Leo rising, between a focus on yourself and your own health, what you're learning and healing, uh, how you're moving forward, like even for career, Leo Rising is doing a lot right now for their career, so learning all of these things and going through this process is helping you, but at the same time, your energy is split with the sun and cancer. You may feel more drawn to family. You may be um, asked to help more in the home or family, or you're wanting to change things around your home and your family uh, or property in order to feel more comfortable. So sun and cancer is bringing up these things. So we've got to be careful not to get too sensitive, and that's why it's so important that this Capricorn full moon is here right now to bring about the seriousness and the rededication or the new dedication to whatever it is you're working on for yourself, your healing, your intimacy, your focus, your spirituality, and your health. Okay, let's move on to Cancer Rising. So for Cancer Rising, the Jupiter in uh, Pisces retrograde is happening in your ninth house. So the ninth house is about, it's a really great house. Jupiter rules this house naturally. So it's about expansion. It's about new knowledge and travel and kind of knowledge in by the way of learning um possibly through travel but learning from other cultures foreign places you may be wanting to travel you may find yourself traveling um between now and july 28th while jupiter is here still retrograde in pisces um and learning new things jupiter really just likes to teach and i love this energy about jupiter so you may be wanting to watch the travel channel, watch a cooking channel, watch uh, or go to a cooking class or anything, learning about a new culture, a new place, a new religion, something that's going to broaden your horizons and open your mind a little bit. Aside from physically, possibly maybe traveling, you may be going on vacation, okay? Um, and so this time is about expanding your mind, expanding the way you look at society, the way that you feel about your own beliefs and what beliefs are changing for you. Jupiter wants you to look at things in a different way. And so this is just a great time for you, uh, Cancer rising, especially with the sun now in Cancer. So these things are going to emotionally make you feel really good, okay? And if they're not, if you're feeling depressed, then maybe that's what Jupiter is trying to show you, that that your beliefs need to switch. Maybe the way you think needs to switch. And the sun in your sign, I mean, you got to feel great anyways. But then this Jupiter energy in your ninth house is just going to be expanding the way you look at the world and really your positivity, your outlook, your optimism. So for you, Cancer Rising, I feel this would be a really great time for you. Um, also, the Capricorn full moon will be in your seventh house of long-term relationships. So you may be being asked, with all of these things accumulative, uh, to change your beliefs 
in how you think a marriage should work or a business partnership should work or even a friendship should work thinking about incorporating more of their beliefs into your own if you have quarrels or something over those topics this house seventh house um is being aspected by this capricorn full moon which is the opposite your sign and so this is more of a very serious kind of harsher energy about you need to put some things in place now to choose what's going to be best for you and this long-term relationship right it's not just about you it's about the people who are also in this long-term relationship with you how you want your marriage to work how things need to change in order for that to happen and i get the feeling jupiter is showing you these new broadened horizons these new cultures these new uh traditional maybe changing your values a little bit um, and learning new knowledge in order to bring about these new changes uh, that are going to take dedication and they're going to take commitment from this Capricorn full moon. So whatever that means, if you, you may be recommitting to your relationship, you may be building a, a schedule or getting on the same schedule with your partner or changing things in your business with your business partner, things like that. Uh, so relationship house is definitely aspected by this Capricorn moon so that would have probably already started by today the full moon is on the 24th and it is a super full moon strawberry moon and so it is very powerful and I just want you to really take the time to see what it is Jupiter wants you to expand on and you know what this is because you've probably already home watching thousands of YouTube videos on a certain topic or something new or something's got you excited get excited about what jupiter's teaching you and how is this capricorn moon it's like cancer you get kind of sensitive right and so you may be feeling more emotional with the sun in your house but the full moon is in capricorn so it's like hey snap out of it what what actions need to be done you know what do you what how can we make this happen? What changes need to happen? How can we commit to this thing? Or, or how can we dedicate ourselves to this thing, this relationship challenge or issue or blessing? You know, it could be like re, redoing your vows or getting married, proposal or something. You never know. Okay, so please enjoy this time, Cancer. And remember, don't try to do it the old way. I have to do I have to say this for every sign because people just click on their sign and then they click off the video so I just want to say it every time so if you've been watching the whole video I've said it lots of times and then hopefully it's really drilled into your head but we can't keep doing the old things and hoping for new results so that's really an issue right now because people are wanting these new goals and making these new commitments to things but they don't know how to get there and they're trying to get there by doing the old way and you can't get there from there so we have to be willing to try something we've never tried trust the universe and just go for it okay Gemini rising for Gemini rising this Jupiter retrograde in Pisces is in your 10th house of career and social media and um, social networking and connections to other people or at least how society views you so that would be social media so for you Gemini you could be increasing uh, moving up in your career you could be reassessing your career is this the career I want uh, and then maybe revamping your social media, maybe revamping your brand or your business and having to change the face of you outwardly towards society. However, you look to society in order to maybe gain a new career path, expand your career path. Um, and you may even find difficulties or challenges in your career path at this time all for reassessment purposes what am I not doing correctly you know go out on a limb and try something new and for many of you Gemini rising you're already very stimulated in that way so you've already probably had a million great ideas about things that you could be doing for your career so I say go for it 
for you the full moon in capricorn is in your eighth house of sex and intimacy and i always say vulnerability too because eighth house I guess intimacy means vulnerability, but not to everyone, you know? So I just have to say it. And then we have inheritances, death, rebirth, taxes, other people's money, shared resources, like um, your spouse's resources, like your spouse may get uh, a promotion or something. Um, your spouse may be learning uh, a new structure, a new way of doing things, getting serious, rededicating to something, recommitting to something, okay? Or this may be you committing to having more sex with your partner, committing to being more vulnerable and intimate with your partner. Um, it could be whatever this Capricorn moon is wanting to bring structure and long-term goals and getting serious um, about accomplishment. Like what is it gonna take to dedicate or commit to this aspect? So for you, that's your eighth house. So for you, it could be healing. You could be dedicating to healing. You could be going to yoga or seeing a therapist. Um, you could be delving deeper into the more occult, spiritual things. You could be finding yourself in church again after 15 years you could be however that looks for you your spiritual connection the subconscious realm those things that need to be healed that darker energy is all there in the eighth house death and rebirth transformation so this full moon in Capricorn I know it's like complete opposite of that energy but it's like dedicate yourself to this to these changes and you'll know because it'll be coming up for you okay you may find yourself just wanting to have more sex it could be that simple or you could be diving deep into the abyss of the rabbit hole of conspiracy theory and occult wisdom uh, there's so many things that it could be so figure out what that is for you as well as shared resources inheritances death um, and just your own transformation overall and healing I always want to emphasize the healing. We all need it. Okay, um, as well as Gemini rising. You guys need to be aware, I think, because you're very logical and very mental. You need to be aware of others right now because the sun in Cancer makes people more emotional as well. You may be feeling more emotional, but we just left all of this Gemini energy. And so now we're in sun in Cancer and people feel more lighthearted. But they're more easily offended. They could take things the wrong way. So sometimes, Gemini, you can be a little bit blunt, a little bit harsh. So I just want to let you know, people are going to be more sensitive right now. And you may even be included in that. So just keep that in mind, as well as cancer brings up issues with the home, um, blessings in the home. You could be finding a new home, moving in with somebody. All of this stuff happens with sun and cancer, okay? Focus on the home, the family, want to spend more time with family, that sort of thing. Okay? And people are sensitive. Okay. I said it. Thank you. Moving on to Taurus rising. So for Taurus rising, Jupiter in Pisces uh, retrograde is going to be in your 11th house. So 11th house is networking. It's other people's kids it is society friendships social groups um so it could be friendships or it could just be like networking like what you do for your business or how you reach out to people through social media 11th house is also technology so social media in the aspect of connecting to people is 11th house so this could be having you reassess and think about the way you connect to others. Okay, it could be um, revamping your social media page or your PR persona, whatever you want to call it for your business or whatever it is you're working on. And as well as friendships. So you may meet a lot of new people right now. Um, you may be finding new friends, letting go of old ones. 
You may be having really difficult conversations with friends, old friends, letting them go, you know, of toxic people, and then all of a sudden you got these new friends. But Jupiter in retrograde wants you to relook at those situations. Um, go back over it again. Did I say something wrong? Am I at fault? Are they at fault? What really was the issue? Let's make sure that never happens again, that sort of thing. But just also reassessing maybe who your friends are. Maybe you want new friends. You know, like what socially, maybe you need to go out more. Maybe you need to stay in more. Reassessing this aspect, okay? And so for you, this Capricorn full moon is going to be in your ninth house of travel. So you may not be traveling, actually. Capricorn is kind of, well, I guess if you stick to a very strict time schedule, you might could travel. Uh, but ninth house is definitely about travel and expansion, expanding the mind. So for Capricorn, it's more of like living, playing by the rules. So you may be learning more traditional views about things, expanding your mind about traditional views about things. Um, but you're going to need to kind of get serious about this. So the Capricorn full moon wants you to be serious and commit to things and dedicate yourself to things. So you could be dedicating yourself to a new, like learning a new language or learning uh, how to make sushi, you know? Anything that's like foreign to you or foreign in the sense of from another country or involves travel or involves expansion of knowledge, religion, traditions, beliefs. I think Capricorn is asking you maybe to get serious and dedicate perhaps to a new belief system or just reassessing your own. Um, but anyways, Capricorn is pretty fierce and it's like hard work and effort. So you know what this means for you. It could be that uh, you're a missionary and you're about to go to Guatemala and build a church or something you know or build houses for people I don't know but that is sort of the energy of like you're going there to work but you still get to travel something like that okay it doesn't have to be but you know use your imagination it could be literally anything like that also keep in mind that the Sun is in cancer and people are very upset right now um, and very also happy right now. So they're just sensitive and more emotional. So don't piss anybody off. And <laughs> Taurus, sometimes you can be harsh. Um, so just expect that from people. You know, even if it's like, oh my God, I'm so happy to see you. Or like you give someone a birthday card and they're like, oh, <laughs> people are just more sensitive, whether it's good or bad. So they take things to heart, they wear their heart on their sleeves, and they're more focused, and you could be too, more focused on how you feel, what brings you joy, how you feel in the home, around your family, what brings you comfort, which you already do, Taurus, but this is like comfort in the home, comfort around family, spending more time with family, family vacations, that would be great. Okay, so moving on to Aries. Aries rising. This happens for you in your 12th house. So you guys are really, you've been going through it. Healing, big life changes, reconnecting to spirit for the last at least six to 10 months that I know of, um, just from your all your tarot readings and everything else. But so 12th house is about dreams and escape and unconscious what's hidden way beneath and uh, spirituality, the spirit realm itself. You could be having more psychic connections. You could be um, having a lot of things coming in through your dreams um, and just reassessing your dreams as far as what you want out of life and how to get there. So this energy expands. Um, but also can bring issues as far as like jail time, drug overdose, 
Those are the weird things that kind of happen in the 12th house. So just be aware of that, the overindulgence that comes with Jupiter. You may have already gone through something like that from May 13th to now. Not saying you were in jail, but could have been someone you know was thrown in jail or some run-in with the law or something scary that happened or someone was in the hospital or whatever that is for you. We're going back over it. We're reassessing what changes need to be made now. So take those to heart. This is also about healing. 12th house can be about healing. Um, and learning more about the unconscious. And I know that's really confusing because the 12th house is like what you don't know. It's like we have all these things about what we do know, like the houses of like how we need to change and what we can recognize. And the 12th house is kind of like what you don't recognize. They're the things that's hidden. Um, but when they come up, when you feel very emotional about certain things, that's really the 12th house, especially when you don't know where it's coming from. So that takes a deeper dive, a deeper look, a more spiritual look. So take time to get connected if you haven't already. I feel like most of you probably would have, um, but having, uh, you know, Pisces, they're in your 12th, it's already very spiritual and deep. So you have this aspect to you already and sometimes it, I imagine that can be scary. So just reassess, take some time to see what is Jupiter showing me? What have I learned? The last time Jupiter went retrograde, if this helps you, was in uh, July of 2010. So when you think back to that time, who you were around, what you were involved in, that can kind of help you define too what was going on at that time and maybe try to, you know, draw some coincidences here or relate it somehow to what you're going through now. As well for you Aries, this Capricorn full moon is in your 10th house. So that is your 10th house of career. So the Capricorn full moon wants you to get serious, wants you to play by the rules, wants you to look more at the systems in place, the structure that you have in place for your career, what needs to change, what should change, um, what can't change, and how to create a new process perhaps of how you go through your tasks or what needs to be done for your career, you know, or how serious you are about certain aspects of your career maybe not so serious in other aspects. So Capricorn is about commitment. It's about dedication. And some of you will be rededicating to your career. Some of you will be finding a completely new career path. Some of you are already thinking about a new career path and a new way to do it. Um, or, or another way to get there. Maybe you'd have to go back to school or whatever the case is. Your career is being highlighted with this full moon. So, where have you not been playing by the rules? Where are you making your own rules? Which is kind of cool, you know? And that brings me to my last point, that we have to try something new if we want something new. So what are your long-term goals? Capricorn Moon is asking you to assess this. How can we get there? These long-term goals. What schedule needs to be in place? how firm you need to be on something. And it's about time. What are you dedicating? What have you given thus far, as far as work and effort? Because whatever you give to it, you're gonna get back. So for some of you, you already know, maybe you want promotion and your boss is saying, well, if you do this, this, and this, you know, or bring your sales up to this and then, <laughs> There's always something in there, right? There's always more work, more effort, or there's something that needs to be looked at. Rededication, perhaps, to your career or to an aspect of your career. So keep that in mind, Aries. And also, don't forget, the sun is in Cancer now. You will be feeling more emotional, and so will everyone else. So if you feel more sensitive, just keep that in mind. Um, Aries can get sensitive anyways, so if you're feeling extra sensitive, maybe just stay home. <laughs> I'm just kidding. 
go out more with your friends and family. Cancer's about the home. So property and home and family and values and structure. Just more structure. Like the universe is saying, put in as much structure as you can. Jupiter wants you to reassess, you know, and these dreams and and your 12th house and like what what is hidden what I don't realize about myself. What is it that I'm doing wrong? What is it that I'm taking offense? You know, it just, it could literally be anything. But there's so much that we're reassessing right now, everyone as a whole. And then we're being asked to structure, rededicate, commit to something. Commit to being better and finding a new way of doing it. Letting go of the old, finding a new way. Because Capricorn is like the old way. But it's like there, there has, we can't expect these new things, these new long-term goals or all these things that we're wanting for ourselves now. And we just keep doing it the old way. The world is changing. So keep that in mind, okay? Um, I'm going to get this posted. If anyone has any questions about this energy, um, you could always email me. Okay, or if you want a birth chart interpretation or you have a question about your birth chart or whatever, I'm pretty good at emailing back quickly. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.